the next step that you should uh, consider is to invite uh, high impact people. You know, so <laughs> and we call it to so bring members that drive success. So, <laughs> so pretty quickly. So that, that's the kind of uh, let's say ecosystem that you'll be in. So you have people who have already joined your DAO, and then you have the rest of the world, which is on Twitter. <laughs> so, so you need to find, you know, who should you go after next, and 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 the 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 great people that you should bring in are influencers, and because when you look at why do people decide to join the DAO, so the first thing that they do is that they will look at who is already in, okay, and if they don't recognize anybody in the DAO, it's it's going to be very tough for them either to 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 make the decision to 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 join. I mean, your community or on your DAO. I mean, every every I mean, every people. So we have tons of opportunities to become members of tons of uh, communities and DAOs. So, I mean, our selection is based on who we know who is already there. So, uh, if you know someone with credibility and influence already a member so there is a good chance that uh, that you're going to join the, the DAO and it's all a fear of missing out you know type of stuff so as an example so these are people who are uh, on the right who are um, influencer in developer relations okay so if you build a DAO I mean and you have the chance to bring one in uh, as a as a member and if your DAO is about uh, developers so most of the people that you're targeting, they know these people. If they see that one of them or a few of them have already joined, it's a huge um, plus and, and it's, it's going to be much easier for you to convince people to, to join the DAO. Uh, 